I talked to Greek linguist Dr. Christoph Rico because he is an expert on the reliability of the Bible. Um, the way that the Bible was preserved was that there was only one copy of the Bible and that that copy faded over time and then as it faded they would make another copy of it by copying it over but just one copy at a time? Not at all, not at all. The situation is completely different. What you do have in antiquity is first of all the church start uh, spreading over uh, the Roman Empire and other parts. So uh, everywhere they need copies. So at the very beginning, you, what you need is copies, copies of the New Testament, copies of the New Testament, because... So they there made is... thousands of copies. Of course. Well, I, I understand after having been here and visited that there are literally thousands of manuscripts. People would go places and want to take their scriptures with them, so they would copy down from another manuscript. and whole bunches of people would do that, so there's literally thousands. We have uh, like 6,000 uh, copies uh, of, uh, that, 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 that go back to antiquity that are either in Hebrew for the Old Testament or in Greek for the New Testament. If we are talking about the versions, we are, we, we, the, the figure is much higher. We have 40,000 copies. So, which is something am amazing. You don't have a single other book in antiquity where you have so many, uh, so many texts. The Bible has 40,000 ancient manuscripts to support it. If that were to happen over and over again, that monks didn't like something, so they would take it out of the New Testament, with all that you have with the different translations and all the fragments and all the copies that you have, would you be able to determine that that happened? Impossible. This is impossible because soon after the original writings of the New Testament, thousands of copies were made. So if a monk wanted to make a change, his change would stand out like a sore thumb. This is also true for the Old Testament. There's nothing different between it and the translation from which our modern Bibles come. So there's nothing missing. Are these plain and precious portions missing from the New Testament? Look, when we are talking uh, about uh, the New Testament, we are talking about the best ever well-known book of antiquity. And uh, the difference between what we know about the, old, the New Testament and any other book from antiquity is amazing. And so if the reality is as if it is this way, but we can show with the evidence that it hasn't been corrupted, that, that we, have the, we have it preserved in our modern Bibles, then that would nullify that whole need for restoration. In a nutshell. Did that prophecy come true in history? Absolutely not. When we see, when we compare all the ancient copies of the New Testament that we have, the, the differences are very small. So you cannot even show me a text where this has been done because the difference between the different copies that we have are very, very, very tiny. They don't affect the substance of the, of, of the, of the meaning. It is like uh, saying instead of, uh, uh, how can I put it, but saying however. Uh, it is this kind of uh, small and tiny changes. You, you don't have changes that affect the substance of, of, of the meaning of, of the New Testament. So it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that uh, it's uh, utterly impossible.